Thanks for joining me today for this time of devotion together. On Sunday, Ian shared a message with us about our Trinitarian God and how he has eternally existed in loving relationship between Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One God in three persons in loving community. And how we're called to be his people living in that same love for God and delight in him and expressing that same kind of love to a broken world around us. And I think this is so vital for us in these days, particularly in these recent events that have so tragically reminded us of the horror of racism and injustice and division in our land, particularly with the killing of a George Floyd at the hands of policemen in the city of Minneapolis and the outcry that has come calling for justice to be done, calling for an end to racism. And I'm sure many of us have felt that same cry in our own hearts and desire to see change. And I'd like to continue along the same lines that Ian brought us to yesterday in his message. And I'd like to remind us of uh, the book of Revelation, the final book in Scripture, where John, in Revelation chapters 4 and 5, has this vision of the throne room of God. And there in that throne room, God the Father is seated on the throne and he has a scroll in his hand, sealed with seven seals. And that scroll depicts the message of the prophets through scripture calling for God's kingdom to come into this world as it is in heaven. And there was a voice that spoke out, an angelic voice that cried out there and said, who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And there was no one found worthy to open the scroll. And when John realized that, he was stricken with bitter disappointment and grief and began to cry and weep. And an elder there in the throne room said to John, Stop weeping. Look, the lion of the tribe of Judah has won the victory. He's worthy to open that scroll. And when John looked up to see the Lion of the tribe of Judah, which would have been, of course, Jesus, the Messiah King from the tribe of, tribe of Judah, he saw, rather, a lamb that had been slain and yet stood there fully alive before them. And that depicts, of course, again, Jesus, who died on the cross for us and rose again from the dead. And he was the one who could open that scroll and bring God's kingdom to earth as it is in heaven. And then a song rang out there in the throne room. And I'd like to read it to you. It's in Revelation chapter 5, beginning at verse 9. It goes like this. Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made them a kingdom of priests to our God, and they shall reign on the earth. This song, in a few words, tells the story of God's salvation. It tells of his plan and goal for his people, the church, folks like you and I those that have been ransomed by the blood of Jesus that he shed on the cross, those that have been called to live in his love here in the midst of this broken world. And you notice in this song the primary characteristic of this community, the church, that belongs to God, that is re revealing and showing his kingdom here in the world, is that it's multi-ethnic, multicultural, multilingual in nature. All the members living in harmony with God and his ways and living in harmony and unity and love with each other. 
delighting in their diversity, delighting in the gifts each one brings into the community. You know, we're called to live this way. We're called to live this kind of life right here in the midst of this broken world. We got to be careful not to romanticize this song and make it for some other day, some other time, some other place. No, this song is a picture of what God wants his church to be here in our world today. And so let's pray together that God will help us be this kind of people today as we follow Jesus. Pray with me now. Oh, Father, we pray that your kingdom would come, that your will would be done here on earth just as it is in heaven. Lord, we ask for your help today by the power and presence of your Holy Spirit working in us and through us. Help us, Lord, to live life today doing what is just and right, loving mercy, walking humbly with our brothers and sisters and before you. Thank you, Lord, for your presence with us. And we pray, Lord, that we would by your grace and help, make a difference in our world and see people come into the new life that only you can bring. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the blood you shed for us on the cross. Amen.